Here's another one for you. I took pictures while I did this and my little guy helped me. But this thing, we got this Power Wheels. If it even is a Power Wheels, uh, who cares? Kid track? Well, anyway, it didn't work at all. The battery was awful. It came with a charger, like a charging port. I disconnected it. Here we go. Sorry for the motion sickness. It had a charging port underneath. It would never charge. It would charge. You let it charge for 24 hours. When you hit the gas pedal and it would go roar and stop in like about a second. <sighs> and uh, buying these is stupid. Uh, directly for the thing is really expensive. You can retrofit uh, 12 volters in here, but you still got to charge them. So, as I did with the other, this is a 6 volt power wheels, as it says, a uh, 6 volt battery. And I've done 12 volts to 18 volt, so... It was only fair that he wanted to start riding this one. So you cut the battery connector off, these short leads. You can see the ground one there and the positive. And I just used some unsleeved or bare terminal barrels. Connected them to the battery thing so it's easy to disconnect there. And this is a 3D printed guy from Amazon. I bought a bunch of these. I have them for my 18 volt stuff too. So it's a socket that people make. Actually, this does not look 3D printed, but I digress. It has nice heavy gauge wiring on it. They're actually very stiff. And I put it right on the battery connector. So now uh, my little guy drove on this battery all day. And he was cracking wheelies and everything. And it only used about half the battery. He must have ridden for over an hour of constant throttle. He's like 37 pounds. So yeah, you can just take these guys and uh, pardon the motion sickness again. Look away, look away, connect that, that's it. It it had this charging port, like I said, and I obviously just figured out that the power goes through the switch and that's about it. It changes colors a bunch of times, but it's pretty easy. One's a direct ground and one just goes through a momentary button, so... That is a significant snap over what this had. I'm sure you can believe me there. So if you have a shelf of Milwaukee batteries that's always charging, uh, this is a better cost-effective solution. This one even came with a neat uh, mounting slide on, and I considered putting it in the back here, but this mount is, this plug is really nice and tight. It's hard to disconnect the batteries right now. So, and there is a ton of space down in here, especially with the small battery. And uh, you can just put everything in there and he can just <coughs> smack this all day, crack wheelies, Rough Rider style. So there's a, uh, what is it? Tech Tip Tuesday.